It's fucking terrible. Come on, what did you expect? It's awful. It's so awful, in fact, that it was actually hilarious and I cannot wait to see it again. Note that this is not a recommendation for The Mummy. The Mummy, first and foremost, is a piece of shit, and your tolerance for its bullshit might be different from mine, but I definitely feel like I got my money's worth, and while most of the movie's worst parts, which is most of the movie, by the way, could certainly justify a fit of righteous anger, it sure is a blast if you leave your thinking cap on. You see, Universal has apparently found its own shared universe moneymaker in the new dark universe Universe, a present-day revival of classic monster movies from the 1930s and 1940s, which is fair, I suppose. The Universal monsters are so old and worn out by this point that lasering it down to a more or less linear compilation of stories seems like the perfect way to mop up some copyrights and airbrush out some of the blemishes that have been served up to the property in between now and the last time any of it was relevant. Besides, any series fanboys, if there even were any to begin with, are now either dead or in their fucking 90s, and for these reasons, I kind of adore this so-called dark universe. Hell, Universal certainly seems committed to it, I can tell because of their fucking dramatic bumper prior to the movie. Jesus Christ, fellas, it took Marvel five movies and DC three to earn one of those. If nothing else, I can at least say they have confidence, if not more than a little cynicism. But confidence can often be mistakenly interpreted from foolishness. Foolishness, which could potentially be the motivation behind assuming the general audiences will be expected to give a shit about the lore of a franchise whose very first installment just came out two days ago. Or perhaps it's just for lore penned by Alex Kurtzman and the five other people who were apparently needed to fucking write this movie. I'm sure you're all familiar with the complications that can ensue from such an endeavor. The tone is all over the place. Characters are bumbling idiots in one scene and omnipotent geniuses in the next. The supernatural abilities of the titular mummy seem to be completely random. Everyone speaks in either quips, anecdotes, or exposition, and most in all three, sometimes simultaneously. Every time this movie makes a joke, which is surprisingly often a lot of levity for this supposedly dark universe, it was simply adorable. Because the truly funny thing about this mess of a movie was imagining a room full of universal executives supposedly real, rational people who exist and are capable of independent thought, deciding in unison that these particular creative choices were the perfect way to kickstart a franchise of films whose reach seems increasingly close to exceeding its grasp, which was only magnified by the opening night showing I attended where no more than a dozen people seemed to be enjoying the spectacle just as much as I was. I get that there's not a lot you can do when you're basically picking up scraps from beneath the Marvel Cinematic Universe buffet table, and it's not like Roman Polanski or whoever is going to direct one of these movies, however awesome that would fucking be, but even the technical side of things sucks. The direction is lifeless, the cinematography is mediocre at best, the score is generic, the action set pieces grow increasingly stale as the movie progresses, the CGI is blatant and also seemingly three or four years out of date, and the final showdown is both childishly asinine and shockingly anticlimactic. The acting is probably the least bad part of this movie. Tom Cruise does an excellent job portraying himself. The lead actress, who I've never seen before and will probably never see again, does a fine job playing a lost puppy following Tom Cruise around. Jake Johnson is the comic relief ghost friend of Tom Cruise, no really, and is basically playing the same character he plays in New Girl. He frequently appears to warn Tom Cruise of impending danger, and somehow the writers did not think this was the most ridiculous thing ever. It was hilarious every time. Sophia Butella, despite being the title character, actually isn't in most of the movie. And finally, Russell Crowe portrays Dr. Henry Jekyll, a one-man exposition machine whose primary role is to disgorge trailer lines and Easter eggs for no reason other than to strongly imply future Dark Universe movies. He does turn into Mr. Hyde, though. It's not relevant to the plot or anything, it just kind of happens at one point. And it was kind of fucking hilarious to see a trained actor turn the ham levels up to 11 and start talking like fucking Begbie from Train Spotting. And thus composes the real problem here. The Mummy is a tentpole, one garnished with stupid frilly ribbons embossed with the summaries of much better movies, but a tentpole nonetheless. It exists for no other reason than to inform you that there will be more movies in the future. And you know what, Universal? You fucking got me. I'll go fucking see them. The Dark Universe is officially my one dumb friend. You know, the guy who, upon trying hallucinogens for the first time, immediately strips to his dance and sprints off into a hotel lobby or a wedding reception or whatever. You don't stop the poor guy. You grab a camera and you follow the bastard until he does something illegal. That's you, Dark Universe. You are officially that guy, and if all of your movies are as retarded as this one, I will gladly partake. Or, you know, you could just make a good one, but let's just say I'm not holding my breath.